Hi, well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Masi, and I'm um, here today recovering from a horrible, horrible two week flu, which was the worst flu I have ever had. Um, really, really regret not taking that flu shot this year. Uh, I have no idea why I didn't take it anyway. <clears throat> so, Today, I want to talk about the thing that's going on right now with almost everybody in the diaspora who are traveling back home um, and preparing for to spend time with family. Now, I will be uh, making something that I do for my fridge. So this is, uh, you see what this is? It's a uh, lemon. And these are cloves. Uh, not sure if you can see them, but well, anyway, you know, you know what cloves look like, right? They look like that. So, uh, when you have, so what I do normally to try and um, like make uh, save the planet is I try to avoid buying chemicals and stuff like that. So a lemon, when you poke holes into it and put cloves in. Um, just a second. Uh, so, well, you poke holes into it and then put cloves in. It makes your fridge smell really nice. Same thing with the toilet. But in the toilet, I prefer to put orange than um, cloves. So, um, let's talk about that traveling back home. So, I first put holes with this so that it's easier otherwise the clothes break so my my one year i think it was 2015 i went uh home for christmas and i was broke for about yeah three quarters of the of, of 2014 you know it was i mean of 2016 it was really really bad um part of the reason was because i went there and spent all my salary so what I do now, I'm lucky that my salary comes in on the 5th. So my December salary comes in on 5th of uh, January. So I do not get to spend my December salary on Christmas like everybody else. But the other way that I feel you can do is generally you can just avoid uh, spending money. Like you know you're going home in December. And I, I suggest that the best thing to do is you start early. You start at the beginning of uh, maybe the year to put money aside. If possible, get an account um, in Kenya. So you see, that's, uh, that's what you do. There's a bit of light coming from the window, but yeah. So you put the clothes in there and you continue doing that for everywhere where you have the holes. Um, yeah, so you... Yeah, you can uh, start saving the money. You put the money aside every single uh, month. And every single month you put, you know, you dedicate a certain amount. You need to know how much money you're going to spend. Then what you can do is only go with that specific card at home. For the simple reason that as much as you're disciplined, many times emergencies come up. And by emergencies, I don't mean your child getting sick because that's a different case. I mean, um, your friend has all of a sudden decided he's having this wedding that he cannot afford. And since you're from Nairobi or you're from the diaspora or you're from, I don't know, wherever it is that you're from and you've gone to the village, they now want you to pay for the cow and the chicken and the goods for their wedding. So... I don't think that's um, good use for your money. And I think that is not something that, you know, I feel like sometimes this can be avoided if you actually did not have that money to give out to begin with. So if I was you, that's what I would do. Carry only the money that you need. The other thing that I know a friend of mine does is um, at the beginning of every year, so like if she's going home in December, she uh, puts a fixed deposit amount um, 
which much was in November. So she puts the money or either buys treasury bills or something like that and uh, puts it to mature in uh, December. And then that is what she will actually use for her holidays. And she gives herself a budget. She says, listen, if I go to um, Hawaii for holidays, I'm going to spend $2,000. So if I go to Kenya, I'm spending $2,000. I'm not spending more than that. And I'm not spending more than that. And she actually does. She's very really disciplined with money, though. I don't think she I don't think she's the best person to use as an example because she is really disciplined. She's the kind of person who will actually walk past a McDonald's and not even not even be tempted to just buy a chicken wing from there. She just goes like, nah. I, it wasn't in my budget, it wasn't in my budget and I refuse. But then when she spends, she really does spend. I mean when she goes on holiday, ooh, that woman, she can't really, really party. So she goes on about four holidays a year and she says the most expensive is always her Kenyan holiday because uh, but she still manages to spend way less than what I would spend right on my go. Uh, so this year of course I'm not traveling because uh, for the second year we have the pandemic I don't feel like going through the process of getting tested to go, getting tested to come back, getting up. Uh, I just think it's too much hustle so i'm not going but i feel like it's it's a great thing if 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 somebody can go home i mean it's been a sad year where we've not been able to see our relatives it's been you know it's been yeah but i mean many people have financially really really suffered this year so if your relative is not able to make it or if the relative comes just be nicer to them because you never know you know you just never know what somebody has been through with this pandemic you know some of us we go on facebook because well that's our therapy session and we go on social media and we 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 show uh some good sides to what's happening we, we go there and we show, oh i went skiing today i went what and you're looking at it and thinking hmm, this one is in, it's eating life with a big spoon maybe that is the little bit that they were able to save that month you know so just be nicer to people if they tell you that they're not able to and let's just be kind and make the season a bit better than it was supposed to be. Um, yet to put up my Christmas tree because we ran out of lights. And okay, so there we go. Oh, okay. Huh? Things like that. No, not even even those. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so that's what I do. So I have to leave one side without it, so that it. Uh, it does not, so that I can keep it to stand like this. And then that's what I do. And I keep it in the fridge and it's re it makes the fridge smell really, really nice. Lemony. I like lemon smell in the fridge. And then I do the same with a tangerine or with an orange and put it in the toilet. And that makes the toilet smell really, really good also. It smells like an orange. So some air fresheners, not really worth it. You can just put clothes and... This can last for about, I don't know, I think the last one I put, I just removed it and uh, you put it until the, the lemon dries. So basically it depends. Um, sometimes it lasts about a month, sometimes it lasts longer. I don't know what the circumstances are, but yeah. So enjoy yourselves and be nice and enjoy your holidays and I hope that I gave you at least one silly tip, which is budget for it and then do it only for the budget. Don't don't try to impress people, don't try to please people, don't try to make anybody feel like you don't owe anybody anything. Buy a few presents here and there for people. I mean, when you're coming from Nairobi, you don't expect to go to the village and not just empty-handed. And when you're coming from the diaspora, you don't expect to go back home and just empty-handed. So just a little bit of presence, but be nice and 
people should understand also that not everybody people lost their jobs people have been depressed people have had issues so be nice to people thank you